Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial. In this video, we will be doing some cool animations. Not Disney type animations, but still cool animations. There are so many things you can do with animations, so I will have to make numerous videos on it. But in this first one, we will be taking a look at scale, offset, and opacity. So that's what we're going to animate today. So if that is something you want to learn how to do or just watch how to do and keep on watching and we'll be taking a look at it right now. Okay, so let's get started by creating a new project. And I'm just going to call this one animation. Uh, the settings, you can basically choose whatever you want. Just make sure that you have Swift UI selected. Then we click next and uh, save it somewhere. So here we are, here we have our preview. Uh, so as I mentioned, what we want to do is we want to create a shape here and then we want to be able to alter some of its characteristics and animate it by changing stuff like opacity and scale. So we can remove this. And then up here, we can define three variables. The first one is going to be at state, private variable this is going to be our opacity of our object we can set that to equal to one then we're also going to define a variable that's called offset which is of type cg float and we can set that equal to zero for now and then we also have one for our scale See, scale, and we also type CG float, and we can set that equal to one. So here we basically have our uh, three properties. Let's see, let's write it correctly, private. Uh, our three variables that are um, storing the opacity of our object that we're soon going to create, the offset of that object, so the difference between where it started out and where it is now, and then also the scale. So down here, we will change all of those three properties of our object. So let's first create our object, which I'm just going to use a rounded rectangle because rounded rectangles looks cooler than a normal rectangle. And then we can set the corner radius. Let's see, corner radius equal to, let's try five. I think that looks nice. Uh, we're just going to make it a bit smaller. So let's set the frame uh, and we can have the width equal to 100. That's good enough. And our height also equal to 100. So here we now have a small little rectangle. That looks pretty nice. Let's see, uh, let's change it to 15. So now we have set the size of our little uh, rectangle here. And now we can also use the modifiers to decide the opacity, the offset, and the scale of this object. So we can set opacity equal to our opacity variable. Then we can set our offset equal to our, let's see, we can change either the x or the y direction. I'm just going to go with x right now. So, um, and we equal to our offset variable. And then we can also set our scale, which is then going to be scale um, effect is the one we want. We can set it equal to scale. So here we have our object that uh, with the modifiers where we all uh, pass in our three variables. So our opacity is equal to one, our offset is equal to zero right now, and our scale is equal to one. Um, and then we are going to create a button. And then when we click that button, we are going to change all of these. And you will see the change display in our preview as well. So let's do that. So in our V stack here, let's create another view, which is going to be our button with the text uh, animate. And then we're going to pass it a function that is going to execute when we click the button. And it's going to happen with animation let's see and then in here we can uh, toggle the animation so we're going to um, be able to uh, 
execute animation and then also reverse the animation. So you're going to see a nice spring effect here or a nice animation effect here in our preview soon. So we can start by changing the opacity when we click the button and we do that by saying self.opacity is equal to self.opacity. If the opacity is equal to one, then we're going to set it to, let's say, uh, 0 0.2. Let's just get some more space here. We're going to set it to 0 0.2, uh, or unless it's not equal to one, which means it's probably already 0 0.2, we're going to set it back to one. So what this is going to do is if it's equal to one, we're going to set it to 0 0.2, if it's not equal to one, we're going to set it to one. So that's going to toggle between 0 0.2 and one, the opacity between 0 0.2 and one. So let's see if that works. And it does. So now we have a nice fade animation switching between the two opacities. So now we're going to do that with the two other variables as well. We can just, to make it a bit easier for ourselves, copy and paste this and then just change around some names here. Offset is equal to self.offset. Uh, if the offset is equal to zero, which is uh, the default value, we're going to set it to 100. Let's try that. Unless it's already 100, we're going to set it back to zero. So now let's try that. And you might notice that opacity doesn't work right now, but that's simply because we need to fix the, this one down here. So also set the scale, self.scale is equal to one. Uh, let's see, we can, we can set it to 1.5. Let's try that. And one, we can just let that be. Now let's try to animate it. And now we have all of the three animations at once. So that's a little simple example of how you can execute a simple animation um, by changing the variables which we feed to the object here and by changing the values of those variables which, which in this case is opacity, offset and scale. We can animate the object a little bit and do some fancy stuff with it. As you can see you can just build on that from here and do all kinds of fancy stuff. But this was just a little example to show you how it's done. And then you can go from here. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial and uh, I'll see you back in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And then uh, cheers.